Adventure here and welcome back to Worlds of Wonder. It has actually been only a few moments since the last episode, even though it's only been a week. It's already been a week for you. Right now, as you are watching this, I am actually on a plane on my way to London. So, hello. <laughs> and I'm super excited because today I think we're going to go mining because we just recently discovered... I have no hands. Um... That too. Um, we discovered this lovely village that was next to an actual Mayan village. So that was amazing. And what we're going to do today is we are going to... Where's the Mayan village? I lost it. This is a prairie biome. This is very gorgeous. Oh, there's the Mayan. There's this right here. There's that rogue dungeon. I'm scared of rogue dungeons. We are basically going to find a cave system near here and do some caving because what we need are ores. <laughs> because we have a space uh, research facility to make. We need to make some machines and we need to get the materials so we can build. Oh, here we go. So we can build our rocket ship and go to. Actually, do I have a pickaxe that gives me fortune too? Oh, that's still touching efficiency. Crud. Oh, well. It's good for other things, I guess. Woo! Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was really bad. Ugh. I need to be torchy. Where's my torchy? Torchy! I have torchy. Okay, we're gonna light this up. We might as well get fossils too while we're here because we can never have enough fossils, right? We're gonna torch this up and get all of this lovely ore. Look at all this ore. This is a maze. There we go. So I am very excited because soon we are going to have a rocket ship and we're going to go to another planet. And as you're watching this, uh, let me see, it's noon. Well, I have not on a plane yet. I guess today is the day I will be riding on the plane. I'm recording these videos very much in advance because um, London, come on, that's crazy, right? And um, how am I spending today? Today is Wednesday. And you should definitely follow me on Twitter if you haven't already followed me, if you want to see pictures. And I'm probably going to be tweeting incessantly until I actually leave the country. So today it's noon right now. I am probably not yet on my first flight. My first flight is going to take me to Detroit, which I live on one side of Michigan. And Detroit is on the other side of Michigan. So it's kind of a trip. It's an adventure. Um, I've never actually been to Detroit, so that's new. But it's still in the same state. Um, then after that, I will be... Let me see. I will be riding on an airplane to Chicago, which is back the way I came originally. It's cheaper. Don't ask me. Poet actually purchased this. He did this whole flight arrangement. So so we'll be ride, driving, flying then to Chicago, where I'm going to actually get to meet up with Poet. And I will give him the biggest hug in the world. It's confirmed. It's going to happen. Um, even if he avoids it, it's going to happen. Because <laughs> Poet is my best friend in the whole world. I don't know if you guys have friends like that. But this is a great thing about the world today. Um, back in when I was your age, possibly, uh, for my younger viewers, um, when you wanted friends, you had to have friends that were near you. The internet was not a thing. It was it was so not a thing. And like if you wanted to talk to people in other countries, you did something called being a pen pal where you wrote letters that took like weeks to get to the other person. Um, nowadays, everybody has friends that are like just in wholly different countries. It's, it's insane the way the Internet has brought the world together. And while it has brought the world together, it is also like brought the world apart in places because friendship is one thing that can spread and also hate unfortunately through the internet i look forward to the day where that's not the case i want the ore that's down here because tin is really hard to find i think it's tin i think so right let's see what that is that is tin yes so the internet's a good thing and a bad thing because there's there's things like cyberbullying and just scary things because of it. I mean, before it was like, okay, you can be bullied, but then once you go home from school, they can't bother you. It's only at school. Well, now they can follow you home because there's the internet. So while the internet's a wonderful, amazing thing, it's still abused and it's got made things worse. And yes, while well, there was bullying when I was a kid, but the thing is, cyberbullying is such a thing it's like you cannot escape from it and it makes everything so much worse and people don't understand that but i get it i really get it 
because like I said, I used to be bullied. And back in my day, I would be bullied at school. And when I went home, it just, it was gone. Yeah, I dreaded going to school, but I was safe at home. I didn't have to deal with it at home. Nowadays, you guys can't get away from it. And it makes me so sad and it makes me hurt for you. So if you're a victim of bullying, I love your face. And you know what? No matter what, I'm here for you. Um, it's just, it's a terrible thing. It's a horrible, horrible thing. And people might say, oh, well, I was bullied, so whatever, wah, wah, or, you know, but it's just, I really, it is so much worse these days. But like I said, friendship, making friends that are in whole different countries. Like Poet is my best friend and he lives in a, like I've seen him once in person. That was the last time we went to Minecon. So we actually haven't seen each other face to face in over a year. And I'm, I, I, we hang out all the time. We hang out constantly. We do online hangouts, which is really lame, but we watch movies together, which is basically we find a movie and then we're on Skype call and we time it so the movie starts at the same time. And that's how we watch movies together. And that's just how we hang out. And it seems really lame saying it out loud, but <laughs> it is fun. It's fun. We usually make fun of movies and laugh and it's just how, it's how we hang out. And it'll be really cool to just hang out with him in person. That'll be the coolest thing in the whole wide world. I'm looking so much forward to it. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have friends that are, you know, in different countries. <laughs> have you have you ever thought that it's possible that you'd ever see them? Because a lot of people, it's they've just they they make these friends and then they've just accepted the fact that you'll probably never ever meet that other person. You'll only be friends online. And I have another friend who's like that, and his name is Ben. And his name's Ace. I knew him as Ace for a long time. And Ace and I were friends for a lot of years. And he was he's a lot younger than I am. And we used to just sort of hang out in Second Life. And he lives in the UK. And he's one of those friends I'd never thought I was ever going to meet. And now it looks like if he can get the time off, I might actually meet him. And that's the craziest thing in the whole wide world. That that is something because of YouTube has become an option for me. And it's not just because of YouTube. It's because... Well, I guess in the in the end it is YouTube because if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't have become friends with Poet. I wouldn't have met Poet if he hadn't started a YouTube channel. And because of him, I'm going to another country. And it's all because of him because if I was Woo! No. No, good lord, that was bad. And if it wasn't because of him, none of this would happen. I know that grateful every day to YouTube for my friendship with Poet. Get right here and grab this really quick. Because I need it. Oh, I need it. Right now. Because of things like YouTube and Red Cube. I do miss Red Cube sometimes. I miss Drew. I miss I miss everybody. I miss Dave, even though Dave isn't really gone. He's just it's just the, the times I like I, I sit back here and I think about all the wonderful fun times we've had. And the last time we went to Minecon was when Red Cube was still a thing. And we hung out with Drew and it was just I got to meet a dual get. I got to meet Mog Swamp. I met Wes there at, Mo at Minecon and it was an adventure. It was a real adventure. Beth was with me then. So I'm kind of scared now because I know it seems really crazy. I'm her mom, but she was sort of my security blanket. As long as I had Beth there, I was confident that I was mom and and nothing was going to, you know, nothing could go wrong because I had to be mom. <laughs> but without her there, it's just going to be me. <laughs> so that's kind of scary. But I'm looking forward to it. It's adventure. And like I said, I love adventures. I don't often get the chance to go on them in the real world. So I'm excited. And I know that this is sort of become like a rant episode while we mine but I don't know I just like talking about it so what were we talking about before online friends online friends like have you ever had parents who are like oh that they're not your real friends and it's like how are they not real people well you can't apparently my parents my parents my mother I should say my mother because my father probably does not feel the same way but my mother's of the opinion that if you can't touch them, you can't be friends with them. 
which makes sense because I guess her generation, they didn't really have online friends. My generation, you really didn't either, but I sort of acclimated to the new age, I guess. <laughs> I'm kind of hip for my age. <laughs> I am an older person, but I've always been like this. I remember when internet was first a thing, seriously. Um, I was addicted. I was so addicted to the internet when it came out. Um, <laughs> it was AOL. <laughs> and you had to do the dial-up stuff. And so you couldn't be on the internet when somebody wanted to use the phone because if you were on the internet, then no phone calls would ring through because it would be busy. So there was no... There was no broadband back then. It was all dial-up. It went over your phone line. So my mom would be, we, I'd have to wait until after my mom went to bed and it was late, too late and we'd never have calls anyway before I could get on the internet. And then once I got on the internet, I did things like call chat rooms and I talked to people. Because it was cool because I was so shy in school and that I could go into these rooms with anonymous other people and just talk to them. And it was so amazing. And I think that's where I started to get some confidence from. Because in school, I was so quiet. I would never talk. It was crazy. I know it seems like I'm the most talkative person in the world, but I really wasn't in school. And I'm really kind of not in real life, too. I tend to be sort of the quiet, reserved person, which is funny. Until you get to know me, and then you can't shut me up. And then you're just in trouble, because I'm going to talk your ear off forever. <laughs> I love ranty episodes. This is fun. This is different. This is so much different than how we normally hang out in this world. We're usually so busy doing stuff, we don't get a chance to talk. So I'm glad we're getting this chance to hang out. Everybody thinks it's so strange, too, when I, when I say we. And it's like, because you guys are doing this with me. It's like you're here with me while I'm hanging out here. So you're here. With, I feel like you're all here with me as I'm... Mining this ore. <laughs> this is this is how this is how I relate to you. Even though you're not here to talk to me, I feel you all with me here. I'm never alone when I make a video. So I love I love doing everything with you guys here right with me. It's bad I scared off. Okay, so are we getting lots of good ore? We got tin, copper. We're missing something though. Aluminum. We're missing something. I know that we're missing a rare ore that we need to... I can't remember. I can't remember! Okay, so... I'll go over there. Ooh, I missed that copper. I think there's two different coppers, too. Let me see. There's copper. I don't know the difference. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out eventually, huh? There we go. Woo! We are going to have all the ore. And I promise I won't make you stare at me. <laughs> I won't make you sit with me as I stare at the compressor that makes those plates like we did in Race to the Moon. That was awful. But it was like, what am I supposed to do? I had to record. There we go. Ooh, we need to go up a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. Look at all this stuff. There's some fossils. Ooh, did I just get something? We got a broken ancient sword. Woo! All right. Look at that. I love finding fossils. There we go. Okay, so we need to find a different way to go. Let's see here. Caves! That's a thing. Oh. This, this is where we came in, I think. Whoa. Okay, let's put a torch up in there. I've got a sword. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Murder! Murder, murder, murder! Nope. <laughs> okay. So we need to light this up. There we go. Woo! Look at this ore. Look at all this lovely, lovely ore. Bueno. 
Oh, goodness. I'm looking forward to this day. It is actually like over a week until I get to leave. And I'm just, I'm so psyched. I'm so psyched. I just want it to be here. Is that crazy or what? I'm looking so much forward to it. Creeper! Nope. Murder zombie. Creeper! Okay. Let's light this up. I'm good. Woo! Woo! What's over here? Oh my. Look at all this. I'll take this. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Ooh. All right. And I can't wait until we can build our space station. We're going to have to get the construction workers some space suits so they can go out there and build. Or maybe they're going to make me do it. <laughs> it's not in the budget. Oh, we got to eat. Eat some cooked salmon. So maybe, maybe some of you guys have the ability to travel and see your friends and adventure. But some of us, like, I grew up in a little trailer park. My mom was really poor. And this is stuff for like draw, draw my life, I know. Um, <laughs> my mom was really poor, so like traveling wasn't something that I was ever gonna really do. The only time I traveled was when I went to visit my grandparents, which I said, I think I remember I told you. They lived in Connecticut. So my brother and I used to go there in the summers. But traveling was not like, like the most we traveled was like when we went camping or something. It wasn't something my mother could afford to take us on because she was a single mom raising three kids. Um, she was poor a lot. So, I mean, some of our Christmases. I heard something. Some of our Christmases, we had to do angel tree Christmases. My mom couldn't afford to buy us Christmas presents. So... I had kind of a really poor life. Um, I remember when I had to get glasses, my mom couldn't afford to pay for my glasses. So we had to get welfare glasses and they were the most hideous, ugly, big pink plastic things. <laughs> and I got made fun of so much at school for them. And I, I had to wear them because I was blind and it was so embarrassing. But my mom, I don't know. She just, she tried her best. She did the best she could. And I know she loved us and that's really what was the most important. I mean, I was sometimes jealous of my friends, which is stupid now, but like my friends, their parents would get them like they would get out, go out to eat all the time. And my mom always cooked us meals at home, which now I know was a blessing because it is so hard to find time to cook food. Like I envy my mother's uh, patience because some nights I come home from work and I'm just like, oh dear God, I want to sleep. Or I have to record. And I really don't have a lot of time to cook dinner. So my mom was amazing. <laughs> she still is an amazing woman. And I was jealous of my friends. And I was also jealous of my friends, too, because they had these moms that would make them cookies and stuff. And my mom was kind of the kind of mom who wore leather jackets and went to Kiss concerts and Aerosmith concerts. And, and it was just like my mom wasn't a mom. And... You know what? I'm the same way. I'm not really mom mom. I love my kids and I do take care of them. But look at me. I play video games and make YouTube videos. So I'm not a normal mom either. And maybe someday when Beth, heaven forbid, is a mother. Um, and I say heaven forbid because my daughter really does not like kids. So I cannot imagine her being. I was always really good with kids. They always really related to me when I babysat them. I worked in a day camp too, like for a summer with little kids. And it just seems like no matter how much I would like be mean to them or tease them, they loved me and I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> but I've never really had a problem with kids. So, whew, which was pretty good because, you know, I have kids. So I keep hearing things walking and I get scared because I think they're going to come up and blow up in my face like creepers before I even get a hug in. It's just so rude. There we go. Oop. Let's put a torch right there. Uh-oh, I hear chickens. Are we coming up in the cave chicken pocket? <gasps> What's over there? Is that the, um... Oh, I bet you. You guys, I bet it's the... I don't know. 
Hold on. I have this wonderful map thing, which is so cheesy doodles. It's like having x-ray vision. There you go. Okay, let's go. This way. Is it the... Because if it's the rogue dungeon, I'm going to cry and run away. Is it up here? Where is it? Can I zoom in? It's like there's something right there and I can't get to it. I don't know. What is it? So curious. There we go. Ooh, there's some more. That. And all of this iron that we will need. I can't wait to build a spaceship. Is that the rogue dungeon over there? I'm really terrified right now. If it's the rogue dungeon, we're gonna just... That is a rogue dungeon. That is a rogue dungeon. Nope. We are just gonna nope our way out of this one. Nope, 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 Nopertons. Niggly no. Niggly no, niggly no. Nerpy derp nerpers. Not even. Not even going there. Nopic. Nopic nerpertin. Ah! That was my butt, you jerk face. You don't hit somebody. You don't. You don't. Hit somebody. In the butt. Or the face. How many faces? <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so that's the thing oh look at it, it's so sunny okay we need to get away from that rogue dungeon and find another place to mine because we are right there yeah nope let's go over here a little bit more let's get away from that rogue dungeon please okay thanks bye blocks what's over here Woo cave! Hello cave! How you doing? Look at all this beautiful coal. This coal is beautiful. This coal is life. This cave is crap though. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Minecon, yeah. Follow me on Twitter. Um, and I will probably be tweeting until I do leave the country. But I don't think our flight leaves from our flight does not leave from Chicago until like 9 p.m. tonight, so. You have until 9 p.m. Pretty much all day today, I'm going to be tweeting random crap from the airport because I'll be bored. <laughs> um, so it should start soon. Probably will be starting soon. Um, they'll just be random tweets like me getting ready, me packing, uh, me at the airport, me on an airplane. Probably not. Um, me spotting poet. <laughs> Twitter. And if you don't have my Twitter yet, my Twitter is actually on my homepage too. It's, you can also follow me. It's Winter Loves on Twitter. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm very, very, very excited. It's an adventure. <laughs> um, my videos are all recorded ahead of time. So I should, they should be posting like normal. No biggie. Right? Right. I'm actually gonna, like, it's going to be great. I have this camcorder that Paramore Mike gifted to me. And I'm looking forward to taking that for a test spin. This cave sucked. This is a very green forest. Oh, it's a rainforest. That would explain it. Does the rainforest have caves? Are there rainforest caves? Excuse me. I burp very rude like. <gasps> it's a cute! Kitty, I don't have any raw fish. Hi, kitty. You want some regular fish? No. Okay. I don't have any raw fish. 
Ooh, this kill is amazing. Let's go up to the top. Everything the light touches is my kingdom. Definitely. Yep. Boing. It's going to hurt. Yep, that hurt a lot. Let's just avoid doing that in the future, maybe. Okay, thanks. Bye. I'm going to eat this. Nope, I'm not going to eat that. I lied. I am not a liar. It was an unfortunate lie that I had no hand in. There we go. You know what I miss? I miss live streaming. I'm looking forward to after Minecon coming home and live streaming again because I really miss that. I was live streaming for a while there and I, I had to stop in order to get record ahead in recording. So I've really started to miss it since I started recording. Like I've been recording so much just to the point where I'm like, why do I do YouTube? Which is a bad thing because I love doing YouTube. But when you record so much more than you're comfortable with, like, cause my schedule is normally set. So I have free time and recording is not all I do. I get to relax, have fun, hang out with my friends. Recording takes up a very small portion of my life. It is dark and I'm scared. So we're going to uh, do this and uh, that and uh, this and uh, like this and like that and like this and uh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Ah, here we go. I love these backpacks. These backpacks are the best thing that ever happened to me. What is that over there? Let's bamboo forest. Okay. I shouldn't be adventuring. We're never going to find our way home. The butterfly. I want a really good cave. Oh. Oh! You aren't broken. I thought you were a broken baby Zamble. That boy was not broken. Nope. Okay, so we got a roofed forest. Oh, here's a cave. Oh, here's a cavey cave. It's very cave-like and cave -eaten. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's late. I'm actually recording this while my minions are over. Um, they're full of ice cream right now. <laughs> and it was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. So what else can we talk about? Adventure, adventure tins. It's kind of like an overshare episode. If you like overshares, this is the episode for you. This is what I do too. Um, I have this problem when I meet people and when I start talking to them, I instantly start, and people have said this too, like I make them feel like we've been friends forever. And that's because my brain says, oh, if somebody sticks around for longer than 15 minutes, then we're friends. <laughs> and then it goes downhill because then I will talk to them like there's somebody I've known forever and overshare and then make them uncomfortable and they go away. So I'm overly friendly. I am, which is weird because how can you be shy and insecure and overly friendly at the same time? And it's just, it's really weird the way my brain does it. It will just flip a switch and go from, I don't know this person, so I'm not going to talk to, we're best of friends forever and ever, amen. I talk your ear off now. <laughs> And that's how my brain works. I don't know why it does that, but it does. But I will just forget how little I've known somebody and you'll be my best friend. <laughs> Which, but I'm not, I'm not like one of those people that's very overly touchy, clingy. I'm just somebody who, once I feel comfortable with somebody, I will probably talk about things that will make you uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh -huh. But more often than not, I tend to just be quiet because I know I have that tendency and I don't want to scare off people. So I'll try to stop myself. I really will. And I know I hope I don't make some enemies because a lot of people who I'm going to get to meet at Minecon are more reserved than I am. I am a fairly reserved person until I start to feel comfortable and then my brain is stupid, which is also why. I do not partake in any alcoholic beverages because my brain is stupid. <laughs> Drinking's bad, so is drugs. Let's just put it there. 
I mean, I don't even socially drink just because it just makes you stupid. So I've had enough ranting for this episode. Like if you guys have liked this video, if you haven't, if you have avoided this video, I understand. <laughs> After I started oversharing, I understand. But like if you guys have liked this video, leave me some comments down below and I will see you guys next week in Worlds of Wonder.